What are you doing here? Oh! 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 Okay, so last time uh, we... I don't remember what we did. But we certainly did a thing. Uh, it, it's been a couple of days. Uh, do we have Blizzard yet? I don't think we do, so we can't get this chest yet. I think we're doing Agrabah today. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a rough night for me. I, I didn't sleep very well, uh, so <laughs> it's probably going to be a very inquiring episode. I'm already looking forward to it. Uh, probably only Agrabah today, even if it's uh, a little on the short side due to that fact. I'm also busy working on some other things um, uh, with, with some other people uh, to make some other things because... Vagueness is just what you want in life, isn't it? Agrabah in and of- OH MY GOODNESS! That is a huge fucking- It's also a very, very bad um, animation to have for combat. But at, at least the Keyblade is joy fucking gigantic. So we've got that going for us. And we've got a pretty stone. Which is probably the most important thing we could have gotten here. This just looks fucking ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Maybe with high jump we can actually get up here? Oh, we we totally won an I I should have jumped there. I I, I should have jumped. I'm also getting attacks now. Again, people always want me to do things for them when I'm recording videos. No. I lived. Oh my <laughs> Okay, open this chest. Better be fucking worth it. Dark matter, it's a good item. Well, it's not a good item. It's it's a rare item, specifically. That's very epic music for a not very epic location. Aladdin, I thought you were poor. Why do you have money laying around your house? Isn't that the entire point of Aladdin? He's like, he, he is poor. He's homeless, even. I don't know if he's actually homeless. I, I think he is. I don't... The, the music is... confusing on multiple different levels. Because we... We have a Halloween Town music. But then I also heard some Another World music a moment ago there. Yeah, so... <laughs> we have a battle theme for non-battle situations. And we have... A non-battle theme for battle situation. It, it's just very confusing to live in these in these weird musical times, dude. Ah, oh, yeah, of course, that's not gonna work. Um, I guess we have this, and that then becomes okay. Now I am, I'm thoroughly confused. So anyway. I recorded something else uh, that I was maybe planning on uploading today, uh, but it's probably going to need a tiny bit too much editing for me to get done uh, right away today. But I definitely still plan on uploading it maybe uh, next Monday. And that is, I did a Iceberg video. Those are all the rage on YouTube right now. And they look a lot of fun. So I figured let's do a Kingdom Hearts 1 ice or, or a Kingdom Hearts Iceberg. And the video, we finally got a fucking thing for Goofy, and it's significantly worse, because of course it is. Um, yeah, so uh, I recorded a 50-minute iceberg video, which isn't edited yet. It's not going to be heavily edited. It's probably just going to like be the iceberg image with me zooming in on things. Uh, we, we try to go through it fairly quickly, but it has a lot of entries because it's Kingdom Hearts. So, it's it's a pretty long video. I'm thinking about maybe doing that for the Monday upload or something like that. Um, this doesn't lead us anywhere. Do we need to go to the castle or the palace? Same thing. Okay, so real question. What is, is there a... What are you doing here? Oh! 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 There's a there's a non-zero chance that these items become unavailable after we beat this world. I guess if that ends up being the case, we just won't finish Destiny Islands. 
and potentially also Holobastian now that I think about it. Okay, that, that could be a problem. <laughs> that could legitimately be kind of a problem. I, I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Raven's Claw. I, I mean, I know that I'm smart, but... Is this where we go? I always have trouble in Agrabah uh, figuring out where to go at what specific point. And then there's also the chests, which there's the Cave of Wonders and Kingdom Hearts 1 and the Cave of Wonders and Kingdom Hearts 2, and they're slightly different, and this is going to be great. Well, that was interesting. Okay. Let's try to focus here for a moment. Uh, um, my, my combos fucking suck. <laughs> like, real, real fucking bad. We are not getting any useful music, uh, money. I've been working on a rhythm game with, with, with some people, so that's why I'm thinking about music. Also, there's, there's this whole music randomization thing, which is honestly throwing me off more than it should. It doesn't seem like something that would throw you off a lot, but, uh, it is. It's throwing me off quite a bit. So, where do we go from here? Do we... Do we go to the desert now? I think we might go to the desert now, because we've saved Jasmine, so we know to go looking for Aladdin. That might be what we're doing. Uh, this seems like a cutscene, so... Definitely seems like this is what we're doing. All aboard. Cave of Wonders. That alignment wasn't quite correct, was it? Okay, so the Cave of Wonders fight is going to... Not be too difficult, maybe, actually, now that I think about it. Because it seems like a pretty good combo we have on this map. So that's neat. And we have Thundera. Oh, we'll be fucking fine. I need more MP, but we'll be fine otherwise. I also need Combo Master. I think that will really improve my sanity, really. Because a lot of the combo issues I have is just because the first hit in my combo sucks ass. If the first hit in my combo doesn't suck ass, I don't have a problem. But if the first hit does suck and I can just power through that, I also don't have a problem. So, that is, uh, that's my plan right now. Just hope that we at some point get Combo Master. Because, how did I get all that MP back? <laughs> Apparently that cutscene... Look at how ridiculously big my weapon is! <laughs> That'll never get old! That'll honestly never get old. Okay, so, uh, my real question being now... Is if we go back in here, is the paddler dude... No. We might have just fucked ourselves. We, we may very well have fucked ourselves pretty bad there. Uh, I don't think there's any ch- Oh, there's a trinity. Oh, and there is a chest around here and I need to kill all the- This is gonna take a while. Or is it? Actually, this is going fairly well so far. It's not anymore. Do I have Blizzard? I do have Blizzard! Which means that I, I... Whenever we get back to Travis Town, at whatever point that may be, uh, I can actually get that chest if I have Blizzard on that map, which is just a matter of getting more magic slots. Or items. Both, really. These are some of the most annoying enemies I've had to face all game. Uh, can somebody heal me? I have Kuraga. I have Kuraga. Hold on. I, I have Kuraga. There. That doesn't seem like a Kuraga. That seems like a cure. So, what I assume happens is when I try to use Kuraga, it just checks do you have cure? And if it is yes, it just uses the current version of Cure that you have. So the fact that we have Thunder in some maps and Thunder in others actually doesn't matter. Because it just uses the version of the spell that you have unlocked. That's very good intel to have. Postcard! We got a postcard outside of Travis Town, which actually... The implications of that aren't great. Because that means that... That, that, that means a lot of bad things, potentially. 
Uh, let's try to get up here. There we go. Now, the centipede. This is where shit gets fucking real. We also want to open those chests uh, when we can in a moment. Okay, what are... Okay, we have Cure. We have... Did he say curry? This is actually- Oh my god, that's That's more powerful than I thought it would be. Um So this is not a difficult fight, apparently. At all. I'm always every time I fight against a centipede boss, I, I remember having so much trouble with this initially as a kid. When I played this game for the first time. <laughs> God, seems like just ridiculous as well. I remember having so much trouble with this uh, boss. I don't know why. Because as you could just see. Every time I play through this game again. It's actually remarkably easy. Facing that boss. And it's not just when I play it on, on beginner mode. Because I don't really do that anymore. Uh, when I try to get into speedrunning this game. Obviously I did play it on beginner mode. But I don't... Fuck! Also that. Um, but I don't think I've played this game in beginner mode in a while. So... It's it's just an easy boss. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that jump, am I? No, you're going to need Glide for that one. So... What is the general ID of this? Oh! Oh, it, it, it's this mini-boss. I remember now. <laughs> the Final Mix exclusive mini-boss. I don't remember how it works. I'm just gonna fuck off if you don't mind. I guess we got a little bit of a free experience. I entirely forgot that that thing existed. Okay, so now we fight a Cave of Wonders. And in the Cave of Wonders, there's a lot of chests. There's a lot of chests in the Cave of Wonders. And I'm not looking forward to having to find them all. But first, we need to fight the Cave of Wonders, which is potentially as problematic. I don't know if this is going to be a separate map. It doesn't look like it. Uh, this fight seems a little broken. I don't mind. No, the fight is not broken. It's, it's literally just that it doesn't have the music. So, I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you, not having the music that you're expecting to see in any given, like, map or fight is really fucking weird. Because it feels like the game is just straight up broken. Because I'm, I'm hearing Halloween Town music in, instead of the Agrabah fight music, and it's, it's really fucking throwing me off. It's really weird. One thing I'll give this uh, randomizer thing, though, is even though the the combos are sometimes really annoying to deal with, they seem to, on average, come out fairly quickly. Like, the, the combos are actually very good, because they deal a lot of hits in a very short amount of time. So, that does help dealing a shit ton of damage. Now, let's figure out if we can... Okay, we have the worst fucking combo imaginable. <laughs> That's not great. Fire. I don't have any fire magic. Um, I don't really have anything I can use, really. Which means that we're gonna have troubles. Because there's at least one chest that I... Fuck! And that's a very annoying enemy to deal with as well. Never mind. I actually deal stupid insane damage. Okay, so now give me the thing. There's so many enemies! I don't like it anymore! Please just all die and let me open the goddamn chest. Please. Here we go. Better be worth it. It's a mithril. Uh, I would uh, say uh, definitively that it's probably not worth. I feel like I can probably make that jump. Probably very close, but... 
I don't know, I really feel like I should be able to make that jump. Maybe you do need glide for- yeah, you need glide for that. Never mind, it, it's, it's one of those jumps that's just out of reach. Maybe it's got something to do with my size, maybe with high jump and a normal size I could usually- ma oh, oh my god, I'm so fucking floaty in this map. You know what? Let's just get the hell out of here. Um, maybe even summon Tinkerbell to heal myself? That might not be the best idea- uh, the worst idea ever. It might actually be the best idea ever. Ah, uh, we have the I'm too small to... I hate it when I can't climb up ledges. Like, I can, but it's, it's just bothersome to do. So I need to actually platform my way around. And then I am here with this chest, which... You know what? Tinkerbell! I'm actually using Tinkerbell to heal me. Which is just kind of sad, honestly. But it's working. And Tinkerbell also gives me back- Oh, right, Tinkerbell doesn't work like normal summon. She doesn't have a summon gauge. So does she just fuck off when I tell her to... ...dismiss? And where is the last enemy? Oh, we, we keep in combat as long as Tinkerbell is around. So... Really, that means that... Inside of a boss fight, you should always use Tinkerbell if you have access to her, right? That, that's what I'm hearing? Nope. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Very good intel to have. I hate being small Sora with a burning passion. No, don't fall down. You know what? You fucking know what? I'm not going to get all the chests in here. Because I fell down! I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. At least in here I'm a little bigger, which means that at least I can grab the ledges and stuff. Poppies! We have poppies. I also have high jump, which means that I probably can make this jump. Yeah, I can. You might be... Dream shield. Okay, we have a new weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new weapon. Does it suck? It doesn't suck. But the thing we have right now is stupidly better. And we're, we're probably never going to get rid of the Cosmic Arts either. So, yeah, we, we have a new weapon, but we're not going to use it. Because the thing we have is just that much better. Can we make this as a jump? I don't think we can from this side. So, what we do instead is we... I don't know what we do, honestly. I guess we just try to go back up. And just fucking ignore everything about this. Because I, I can't be bothered dealing with this... Goddamn stupid map. I don't need to go around getting every single chest. I mean, literally speaking, I don't. But in reality, I, I kind of do. Because any chest could hold... Something valuable. Then again, most of them are just whole poppies. Or the new poppies. The, there's the randomizer chaos version of poppies. Dark matter. I'm fairly certain that by this point I've got more dark matter than you can usually even get inside of the game. Uh, probably not. But it feels that way, for sure. I think dark matter is an infinite renewable resource. So I, I'm, I'm just bullshitting at this point. Where's the last enemy? Um, oh, there's some enemies. Do we have thunder? We have gravity. You know what, I'll just jump down and murder you myself. There you go. Fucking... What do I even have teammates for? What do I even have teammates for if they're not going to help me kill Heartless? They're just shadows, Donald. Go for it. They're not that difficult to deal with. This dude over here. This is difficult to deal with. Until it's not. <laughs> because magic! Again, very much love using magic in this randomizer run. Because otherwise I, I'm not going to finish off anything. Nothing is going to die unless I use magic. And a lot of it. Getting a lot of looser charts though. Cloth! Oh, okay. Uh, that is actually very important. Wait a second, didn't I buy a cloth last episode? Hold on a moment! 
I have two cloth now. I only need one. So this confirms that even singular items can spawn in multiple locations. Which we already knew because we had something else uh, duplicated before. So that does lead me to believe that maybe I do have more dark matter than is actually physically possible in the usual game. Anyhow, so we go over to... Might as well do the Trinity here. To a certain place. Oh, yeah! This one's a chest. Some Trinities are chests. I keep... And more poppies. If nothing else, we'll go to uh, Travels Down at the end of this episode if we really, like, need... to fill up a little bit more time. I don't know why I stopped speaking halfway through that sentence. I'm tired, okay? Just give me a fucking break. We'll defeat Jafar, we'll de defeat Genie Jafar, which is really just Iago. Um, and then we will probably do something, I don't know. Do I look like I know what I'm doing? You can't answer that, I don't have face cam. Do I sound like somebody who's no, who knows what they're doing? Do I sound like somebody who can string a, a coherent sentence together right now? That's the only sentence that came out kind of proper. Everything else I said in this entire episode has been just a fucking mess so far. I'm gonna have dinner after this. <laughs> Maybe that'll help wake me up a little. I had breakfast, lunch, something in between. I had a banana for breakfast, I suppose, and then I had a, uh, a panini sandwich for lunch. It's not been a good day as far as food goes, but it's just because I, I felt kind of shit. Uh, through not having slept, like, at all. Well, I, I, I literally speaking did sleep, but not a lot. Which that then leads to me not eating a lot because I feel like shit, and this is definitely the best Jafar RNG that I have ever seen. Holy shit, he didn't move until, like, he was almost dead. If I had done a little bit better, he might have not moved at all. And, and my good RNG is just over at this point. I can actually reach him from the ground. That's how big my Keyblade Dream Rod is. That's amazing. Okay, that that was a very quick Jafar. I I I feel like plenty of speedrunners probably would be kind of jealous of how quickly, especially the first like ninety percent of his HP, uh, just melted away. Anyway, that means that we're going to... Oh, wow, we're already 23 minutes in. Uh, yeah, there's probably not going to be any more content after the Jafar fight. We'll make our way back to Travis Town. I'll, I'll do the poppies, and then that's that. I'm not going to go looking around for more chests. Because I have other things to do. Such as sleep. Okay. I wish I had gravity right about now, because if you if you do this fight with gravity, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can force Iago down with gravity. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, because I don't think you get gravity until Halloween Town, right? Or is that a gravity upgrade you get in Halloween Town? Where do you get the first gravity spell? No, Halloween Town has to be Gravira. Because Fire is the first upgrade you get, and you get that from this fight. So that means that definitely by the point you face this fight, you would usually have gravity. I don't, obviously. As you can see. But if I had Gravira, and I could actually use it, or if I had a summon, that would be kind of good as well. Uh, I think that would force Iago to the ground and make this fight a fuck of a ton easier. I mean, I'm not gonna die. It's, it's just tedious, because he just keeps flying around there. Yeah, come on, come on, no. Come over here. Oh, please, got. Sure, why not? That didn't work. I don't know why that didn't work. Can you please just move to a place where I can easily thank you? This is what I mean with uh, the combos coming out so goddamn fast. It might also have something to do with the uh, with the auto attack scripts that I have enabled, which I assume, for speedrunning purposes, would probably not be legal. 
Then again, it doesn't really give you any advantage outside of only having to hold a button instead of mash your fucking thumb into a mush. Uh, remember when I said speedrunners were probably going to be very jealous of my first half of the Jafar fight? They're probably, they're probably laughing at me very, very hard right about now. Because this is the worst Genie Jafar I've ever fucking seen. I'm also not doing any damage against him all the time. Don't know what the fuck that's about. But maybe we can, uh... Thunder. Yeah, I, you, you're immune to most magic, aren't you? Seems like you're just immune to most damage, honestly. Don't know what's going on here. But we're almost done with it, and you better give me a good reward for it. You're gonna give me a shit ton of experience, but I don't know if that's quite enough. Okay, um, where is Iago? You know what? This used to be one of my favorite fights. This specific encounter against this fight changed my opinion on it. Fucking hate it now. Could you please die? I got sliding dash. Thank you so much. And more AP uh, and MP mostly is what I care about. I don't know why I cared about the AP. Even more MP, which means that I can actually deal damage against things. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, let's let this cutscene play out for a little longer. <laughs> All the sound is so fucking distorted, it's amazing. That's funnier than it should be, especially, like, high-pitched Sora. It, it, it's okay, right? High-pitched anything, like, you just sound like a fucking chipmunk, that's fine. Low-pitched Sora is just, like, th that's the entire, like, that's the new meta. Low-pitched Sora is, is, is based. That, that's what the kids call it these days, right? Uh, I can't attack. I, I I cannot attack. Uh, the fuck? This every time I escape the cave of wonders, I think every time I say it as well. Um, every time I escape the cave of wonders in Kingdom Hearts One in this mini game or this section or whatever you want to call it, uh, specifically th this section makes me want to play Rayman Two. But everything else makes me want to play uh, Aladdin Nazira's uh, Revenge on the PlayStation One. It's uh, it's a bad game. It's just straight up, it's a bad game. But the, the carpet flying sections are actually a lot of fun in that game. It's like the unreal sections are... I don't want to say top notch, but they're really good. Oh, uh, usually you get a Keyblade and a Summon here, so let's see what we got. We got... We got... We got... Another cutscene first, that, that, that's right. We got, we got, we got normal music for some reason. We got Mermaid Kick and Red Trinity. Um, both of those I appreciate, mostly Red Trinity. Mermaid Kick, I, I, I guess why not, right? We, we might as well. And I want to check one more thing before we end today's episode because we're not going to Traverse Town right now because episode's long enough as is. Uh, the... The shop. Oh, wait a second, there's a chest in here. I... Did not realize, and I don't recall come at that. Uh, we don't have green trinity. The, the dude selling things. The dude that was selling, uh, fish. And a weapon, I think a keyblade. Was it a keyblade? Might have been a keyblade. Where is he? Is he in Aladdin's house again? Because if he's not there... We might just be straight up fucked. Also, why can't we... We're too big to go into Aladdin's house. Hold on. Are we really too big to go into Aladdin's house? From this map? I think we are. The only way we can get into Aladdin's house... Is through this entrance, because we're too big otherwise. That's kind of funny. Because I never quite realized that this actually was an entrance to Aladdin's house. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, I think we fucked ourselves. I, I don't think we can get the fish anymore. 
if I'm missing something, please do feel free to let me know. But for now, this is the end of the episode. I'm sorry if this was a very disjointed and weird episode. Again, I'm, I'm very tired. So uh, Monday, we'll have the Iceberg video, maybe. Uh, otherwise, we'll have another episode of this where I maybe am a little bit more well-rested. And then maybe on Wednesday, we won't have an episode because I'm getting my, uh, my second COVID shot on, I think, Tuesday. Or Wednesday, one or the other. It's probably going to be resulting in me not being like in shape to record anything really so um after that hopefully we'll be back to regularly regularly scheduled content as always until then bye